To avoid injury, folks, you want to keep those hands and arms inside the vehicle. All right, your doors are all closed, hands are all clear. Okay, since you're all seated, it looks like you are. Say goodbye. Well, Jumbo, folks, Jumbo means hello here in Harambe. Good afternoon, welcome aboard. This is Kilimanjaro Safaris. My name is Clay, I'm your game driver for your photo safari through the Harambe Wildlife Reserve. And that's a black rhinoceros up on the hill to your left. They are extremely rare. There are fewer than 5,000 of them left on this planet. But well, we're going to head towards Safi River to see if we can find some hippopotamus. You can see that his ears and his eyes and his nose are all up on top of his head. So he's almost completely submerged, but he's very much aware of what's going on. You guys on the left, get ready to look left. There's a lot more river around the corner. There he goes. Look to your left. Here we go. They're very social, the hippos. Groups of them are called bloats or herds. See what the guy in the back is doing? You rest your chin on your buddy's butt and keep your nose out of the water. <laughs> the blackbirds are vultures, indigenous and protected. They're part of the cleanup crew. It's a full-time job out here. On the island, those are pink-backed pelicans. They will display a very pale pink stripe down their back when they nest. They weigh about 3,000 pounds each. They won't be out of the water for long. They'll overheat. They'll have to get in the water to cool off. The vultures are looking for parasitic insects. They will eat the insects off of the hippo's skin. To your left, the Nile crocodile. They are bigger than the American alligator, and they are in the water directly beneath this bridge. These guys can reach 18 feet long and weigh 1,500 pounds. They do not move very much. This is an ectotherm. They have a very slow metabolism. They depend on the environment to warm their body and digest their food. They will spend much of the day sunbathing. So we'll go on down to the floor of the savannah. Uh, there were three little boys born into the giraffe herd last fall. So they're about four months old now. Right here along the road, the road colored cows. These are the Ancoli. Ancoli cows known as Watusi cows. They were domesticated here in East Africa by the Watusi tribe about 2,500 years ago. Considered symbols of affluence and wealth, and to this day, the Watusi breed these cows and train them to move up and down the social ladder. This is Big Mama. How you doing, Big Mama? This is Big Mama right here. She's got arthritis. Yeah. The horns are not very heavy. Inside the horn, there's a honeycomb for strength. There's blood vessels running through the horns, and they're just full of air. Now the male has got his back to you, but he's much bigger than the females. His horns are heavier. They can force blood through the vessels in the horns, and when they stand in the shade, they dissipate heat. When they stand in the sun, they absorb heat. These are Maasai giraffe, and there's two of the little boys. The Maasai have a very disorganized and irregular stripe pattern. Uh, the edges are ragged, the colors are muted. You are never going to find two of them that look the same. The stripe pattern is like a human fingerprint. It's unique to the animal. This is an adult female. She's between 12 and 13 feet tall. She weighs probably 1,200 pounds. Another one looking at you. They chew continuously. The giraffe is a ruminant. They have a four compartment stomach. So they're just like a cow. They chew the grass, they swallow it, it comes back up. They chew it again, they swallow it, it comes back up. Uh, the only time they're not chewing is when they're asleep. Giraffes sleep standing up. They only sleep about 10 minutes at a time. Now hold on folks, we're going to try to save a little time. This bridge pretty old, but it will get us to the river pretty quickly. Hold on, here we go. That elephant is right up there in those rocks. Whoa, is that? Oh no, it's the bridge! Hold on, we're getting out of here! <laughs> wow, that was close. The elephants have relatively sensitive skin and they don't like to get sunburned. Busy eating right now. This is a single tusk female out here in the field. She just turned, she's walking right to left. She's the mother of two, that's her little boy on the left. She's missing her right tusk. You look carefully, she doesn't have a right tusk. See that? She broke it off. It happens. Tusks, just an extra set of teeth made out of dentine, no enamel, relatively soft. There we go, there's Bunko. They are quite social. The 
Cavs will spend most of the day playing. Those are white rhino. We are going to try to get closer to them. They're not particularly aggressive, so as long as we don't scare them, maybe we can get a little closer. The male lion, right on the lip of the rock. He's the only one with a mane. He's about eight feet long from the tip of the nose to the tail, and he weighs pretty close to 500 pounds. He is the leader, and he is the protector of the lion pride, but the girls do almost all the hunting. The girls hunt cooperatively. They're like the dogs. They work together. And they'll be very good at isolating a wildebeest or a zebra. He is perfectly capable of hunting, but he knows that the girls are going to do it. And why bother? He's going to eat first regardless, so the girls do 99% of the hunting. Grant zebras to your left, fairly common, short leg and wide stripes. This is a plains of zebra.